Bernie was asked a question on trade at the debate the other night. Uh, this is the USMCA, which is the new NAFTA. So let's see what he has to say. I have a lot to say about this one. President Trump is expected to sign phase one of a trade agreement with China, and the Senate will likely soon approve a new trade deal with Mexico and Canada, Iowa's largest trading partners. Senator Sanders, you have said that new deal, the USMCA, quote, make some modest improvements, yet you're going to vote against it. Aren't modest improvements better than no improvements no, for the farmers and manufacturers who have been devastated here in Iowa? The answer is we could do much better than a Trump-led uh, trade deal. Uh, this deal, and I think the proponents of it acknowledge, will result in the continuation of the loss of hundreds of thousands of good-paying jobs as a result of outsourcing. The heart and soul of our disaster trade agreements, and I'm the guy who voted against NAFTA and against permanent normal trade relations with China, is that we have forced American workers to compete against people in Mexico, in China, elsewhere, who earn starvation wages, a dollar or two dollars an hour. Second of all, every major environmental organization has said no to this new trade agreement because it does not even have the phrase climate change in it. And given the fact that climate change is right now the greatest threat facing this planet, I will not vote for a trade agreement that does not incorporate very, very strong principles to significantly lower fossil fuel emissions uh, in the world. But Senator Sanders, to be clear, the AFL-CIO supports this deal. Are you unwilling to compromise? The AFL-CIO does. The machinist union does not and every environmental organization in this country, uh, including the Sunrise organization, who is supporting, supporting my candidacy, opposes it. So I happen to believe, and I hope we will talk about climate change in a moment, if we do not get our act together in terms of climate change, the planet that we're going to be leaving our kids and our children and our grandchildren will be increasingly unlivable We're going to get to climate change, but I'd like to stay on trade. Senator Warren. Well, they are the same in this issue. Senator Warren, you support the USMCA. Why is Senator Sanders wrong? I left in that question to show you yet again the framing. Why is Bernie wrong? They did that multiple times throughout the night. Why is he wrong? Not, hey, what do you think on the issue? Why is he wrong? He's obviously wrong, so why? Why do we explain why he's wrong? Guys, they know, they know, they know, they know, like that Neo song. <laughs> that popped in my mind as I'm saying it. Uh, except it's She Knows, I think, for the Neo song. Uh, he's leading by three points, I believe, in Iowa right now. The first four states, he's doing very well. Um, California poll just came out, he's leading. Uh, the only place where Biden's surpassed him by quite a bit is uh, the South. So they know he's doing well, they know he's one of the favorites, and they're just doing everything they can to stop him. All the other candidates... The media, I mean, this is getting bad. And uh, they're throwing every every single thing they got at him. They're not holding anything back. Because the vote is coming up very soon. So, now, at first when I saw that, his answer, Bernie's, I was a little bit like, uh, he didn't do too well. Because I didn't catch his fir the first things he said there. I thought that he only stressed climate change. But then when I watched the debate a second time, I saw that he actually led with the thing that I wanted him to lead on, which is, no, this trade deal is going to lead to the loss of hundreds of thousands of jobs, um, and it's going to increase outsourcing, so why would I be for it? I'm happy he led with that. Now, if, if I was Bernie, that's, that would be the crux of my disagreement. It's totally cool for him to bring up the climate change stuff, and I'm happy that he did, but I make the cornerstone of my disagreement that this will lead to more outsourcing. Um... Now, the other thing is, guys, we got to we got to get better at labeling on the left. We don't do it very well. You know, Bernie's great at explaining his philosophical disagreements and why he's correct on policy, but what he's not good at is labeling. And you could call this NAFTA 2.0. That's what it should be called, or Trump's NAFTA. Those are the only two ways you should refer to the USMCA as it's called, because that's what it is. And another provision of this that wasn't brought up is there's a massive giveaway to Big Pharma in this bill. So this is nothing but a corrupt trade deal, which is just like all the old trade deals, which is not good. Um, so I, I think that if you hammer away on the fact that this is a betrayal of Trump's populist rhetoric, 
that you can win this debate. Now, Elizabeth Warren came out in favor of the deal, and there, uh, you know, Nancy Pelosi, I think, came out in favor of the deal, and it looks like the deal's going to pass. But I think time will show that Bernie Sanders is correct because this isn't an end, uh, a cure all for all the problems that we have in this country. If anything, this is going to exacerbate the problems. Now, I've been maligned as being just flat out like anti trade, but I've spoken about this before. I think trade in a global economy, yes, trade is a necessity, but I always say you should do it as a matter of necessity and, you know, you shouldn't be crafting these trade agreements to benefit the owners and the CEO class and the executive class and you screw over workers in the process because that's the way our deals are crafted now. You need environmental groups at the table, you need labor groups at the table when crafting these trade agreements. And in my opinion, I would have all my trade agreements would be bilateral trade agreements. So it's you and another country, U.S. and another country. Um, when you have these like convoluted, complicated, multilateral trade agreements, if somebody violates the deal, what are the enforcement mechanisms? What are you going to do? Are you going to rip up the entire trade deal, which maybe four or five countries are privy to? So because one person messed up, the deal is ruined for all of us. So what happens is you'll have one person who violates the deal or two parties that violate the deal, and they can violate the deal with impunity because you ain't going to change anything because so many things are tied into the deal because so many countries are involved. So, But if you have bilateral agreements, if one country messes up, okay, then you could pull out of that one deal with that one country. That's it. So there, you could actually have enforcement mechanisms and bilateral trade agreements. It's harder to do that with these big, complex trade agreements. So, um, and again, having labor at the table, having environmental groups at the table, I think that's all massively important. So I think Bernie's answer is correct here. I think the Democrats who are for this are wrong. And I think if Bernie hammers away on the negative consequences of this particular deal, then then uh, he can win this exchange. Because... And, and the other thing is, this really does hand Trump a giant political victory. At the same time where they're handing him a political victory in impeachment, where they think they're not, they think they're owning him on this front, he's going to get acquitted and he's going to go up in the polls, they're handing him a victory on impeachment, and they're also at the same time, they gave him his military budget, and now they're also going to try to give him the USMCA, and they're going to act like, oh, this is a victory because this is going to help the working class, when the reality is the exact opposite. Ultimately, it will, it will have a negative effect on the working class. So... I think Bertie's correct about this, and it's a shame that, yet again, we're going to go down this road of further exacerbating outsourcing and hurting working people.